everybody this is Pramita here so even before I start this video of journal flip uh, I would like to request everybody whoever sees this uh, video if you like this then please hit the like button and if you want to see more of these kind of videos more tutorials process videos and see how my journal process making process works then please 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 subscribe to the channel thank you now let's proceed with the flip. Hey everybody, this is Pramita here and this is going to be a journal share for my design team project um, for Chunk with Steph. Um, so this is, uh, I have been working on this for a few days, past few days and uh, this is how they look. So I made two journals out of the papers that I have chosen uh, so um, I have done quite a bit of sneak peeks and uh, brief glimpses on my Instagram posts uh, as well as uh, I think uh, on a few Facebook posts also but of course the fish and flip through is here and uh, so I'm going to do the flip through without much ado. So what I've done is I have um, I have not used a specific coordinated kit with uh, envelopes and pockets and stuff like that because um, I wanted to do something very um, simple. Uh, yet uh, you know there would be options for me to be a little bit more creative. So um, I went with. A kit which is um, only book pages and I think I opted for opted for uh, two journal card sets that she had in her shop now along, while I was working on this kit she, Stephanie came out with this amazing fussy cut um, a kit on uh, she, it is called herbal remedies fussy cuts uh, I'll post all the links in the description box the things that I have used or the kits that I have used and that uh, you know fussy cut herbal remedies kit is just awesome so I have used that extensively just to jazz up the entire project and it has worked so well with the current theme when I do the flip you will get to see uh, the entire details so I'm sorry somebody is trying to um, send me some sort of message so um, so uh, let me do the flip so here are two journals I wanted to make initially I wanted to make a single journal but then I decided to make two uh, because uh, you know uh, I thought that would be more suitable because um, then you get two people can enjoy these journals uh, instead of one getting a big chunky fat one so um, so this is the cover uh, let me show this okay so there is a slight difference between the two uh, one of them is more on the floral notes and the other one is more on the you know non floral I can't say non-floral because both of them have floral tones but one has more floral tones than the other so I'm going to do the more uh, the less floral tones uh, first which is called serenity and uh, then we go to the spirit spirit is a floral a little bit more floral um, journal so the cover I have I have done a mixed media look kind of leather, full leatherette cover. So I am going to show you how it looks. So you won't be able to get to see that entirely but if you watch closely you will see it has this leathered finish and uh, that's done with alcohol inks and um, this is a piece of packaging. I have used corrugated cardboard. Uh, I have layered this journal card. This is actually a journal card that I had made and then I have layered that on this um, corrugated cardboard and which is again layered on a vintage piece of uh, hand crocheted lace and here I have a little bit of lace um, you know lace thingy that I had 
stitched along and then what I've done is I have made a little bit of longer kind of a snippet um, with some pearls attached to it a button this is a four tile sort of thing I did with glossy accents and um, attach that with a bulb pin so since this has less of floral uh, elements I have used this and the other one has more floral elements so I've used a floral themed tile uh, on this so this is a four tile sort of thing I did and this says herbal remedies so herbal remedies is the fussy cut kit that Stephanie has recently come up with and uh, uh, that's what I have used extensively throughout. So as I open this, you can see the inside. The inside has this leather, faux leather kind of look. And these are all sealed. Uh, you know, these are all sealed with uh, a collage medium. So it's pretty sturdy and it's smooth. So that's that. And this is the front uh, envelope opening sort of thing that I usually try and do so this is actually a vellum circle or window and when you open this this also has a small lace snippet attached with a button so when you open this you have uh, just a moment so when you open this this is the side of the envelope and here is the journal card and this goes in and this closes up so you can see a little bit now even though they are built on the same lines they have many similar elements but they are not exactly same they have their little differences so this is how I have collaged on the envelope and then I have sealed with collage medium and then stitched around it and done stuff like that so um, here is the back pocket so the flap I have made that into a tuck spot sort of thing and this is again one of those collaged cards I did with all sorts of scraps. Uh, this is a office ephemera. Now I have done some collage on the pages also like so. So you can write over here because they have all been sealed with uh, you know uh, at first I've used glue stick and then I've sealed them. Here what I've done is I have used some beeswax and um, I have uh, stained them a little bit you can say but uh, just to give a vellum kind of look I have not done the entire page because I thought that splotches would look better than the entire page I don't want to do the entire page uh, and when you turn this over this is the other page this is the page uh, pages actually I have used the only page kit that I've used. This is from botanical book um, and these are the journal cards. So as I said this is more on the uh, greener uh, non-flower elements or a little bit less flowery elements are there. So this is another page. And again a journal card that I have collaged. Um, I have done the master boot sort of thing on a A4 size paper and then I have gone back to attach uh, the herbal remedies fussy cut ones so this is another one that I have used and here is a small snippet with a charm so and this tucks in inside this pocket so if you want you can take it out and use somewhere else when you're not using this journal or probably you would want to use it uh, somewhere else if you so desire so there's a metal charm attached to it with a tree of life kind of like that so at the back again there is another pocket lots of journaling space and uh, plenty of space to write so this is a flip over journal card sort of thing with a little bit of lace thingy I have kept the threads in this one but if the person who gets it wants them to remove uh, me to remove them I can simply snip them off so here is a little lace tuffet sort of thing um, 
this is the other side of the page. Again, another flip page, you'll see. So here, this page flips over. This page flips over. And here is a journal card. So let me show this. Again, one of those collaged cards. These cards came out so well. Uh, but you know, when initially when I made these master boards, uh, they have a bunch of scraps also from the pages. Um, I didn't like the look of it, but I knew at the end I will get there, that sort of thing. So, uh, journal card. And then there is some stenciling. Most of the pages do have some kind of stenciling. So this is a double pocket that I have made, some journal card and a tag out of those pages that I have used made tags out of that and this is the center of the signature or the journal you can say uh, this is another journal card and here I have a collaged card and then on the other side there is again this double pocket Some stenciling. This is a very grungy kind of uh, page. Some vintage book page. This is a vellum uh, styled pocket. I had seen uh, teal and tattered do something similar, but I have made it into a full page pocket and that to a flip. So the vellum goes through both the sides, like it has on this side. Sorry, this is totally out of frame. So the vellum pocket is also on this side as well as on the other side over here. So you get to see the journal card also. So if I pull this, so you can see the journal card and this journal card goes in here. You can see how you can get to see a tiny peak of the journal card from here. And there I have added some music page and other papers also. So that flips over like this. Again, one of those collaged uh, pages that I have done. This is uh, the other side of the book page. Actually, this is a vintage book page. So I have added a pocket and some lined paper. Again, some page from the kit. I don't exactly remember the number of pages, but uh, when I'm listing this in my Etsy, uh, I'll definitely put the number of pages. So again, a journal card goes in. This is the other side. This is the blank page. And this has a belly band sort of thing with a little bit of a snippet, as you can see. This angle is a little bit weird for doing flips, but what to do? And today it's a very, very dark, uh, cloudy rainy day sort of thing so lighting is a little bit of a problem because I like to do my filming in natural light so that's that's how it's looking it says California poppy because this is California poppy so I have this journal card and the journal cards you know some I have attached these uh, tiny beads to the tabs and they're looking pretty cute so they go in now yeah so they go in and here is another journal card at this side and this goes in in this pocket flips over again some collage this is also from one of our fussy cut kits now we come towards the end so the back I have made a side tuck and here there is another journal card and here are two journal cards that go in and this is one of the journal cards that I have turned into pocket with lots of tiny bits and bobs and the images are from Herbal Remedies Fussy Cut. I would highly recommend this kit. 
if you are interested in building up your uh, stash of fussy cuts and you don't have access to vintage books botanical books this is a very good option you know yeah, and you can do a lot with these i have really used them and you get two sizes one is a big size and the other is a smaller sized one so this is another size that you get so that's a very good option so and at the back what i've done is i have collaged a lot of things some uh, botanical images those fussy cuts some book pages some vintage music paper some washi tapes and i've just sealed them um over so that's how that's looking and i have also added some uh you know this uh oh god this gauzy kind of things um uh, cheese cloth okay so i'm just <laughs> I made a loss of words. So this is stitched with a uh, five-wool pamphlet stitch, and these are pretty sturdy. And uh, the cover is made from a very thick cardstock, doubled over, and that's why they get that leatherette kind of look. So the same here. Here you have this floral tile, floral tile, and if I move this, you will see that again there are two. Be beads pearl sort of thing and a long sort of um snippet with button and so this is the second one which is called a uh, flower study and i have named it uh, spirit again i have uh, made a journal card um uh, using the papers from the scrap you know the scrap papers i had and some uh vintage music page and stuff like that and i've used again some herbs herbal remedies fussy cut images and here you have that cluster that i was talking about um and this is like a four tile that i have made and then i've added a jump ring and added that to this bulb pin and this is totally removable so if you don't want this or if you don't like this you can take it off and or perhaps if you want to use it later on you can do so too uh, so that's how it's done again this is layered on a corrugated cardboard sheet um vintage hand crocheted lace um this was just a piece of a cushion cover and so i've chopped it off I was I did have a hard time doing that. Uh, I didn't have the heart but then anyways uh, hopefully this works out I thought. Uh so this is the front cover and this is how it looks when you open this up. Uh again you get you know a little bit of collage and here you can see more clearly how I have done a leather kind of finish. This is like a weathered uh look distressed um a lot of technique had gone into this so if you are interested in seeing how i did that then probably i'll try and do one video on this um but that's how i got uh, i've worked on that you know on different um i've used different stuff on this so this again flips up uh this has a journal card as usual inside let me take this out so so here is the journal card as i said this is more this has more floral images and uh, this is how it looks the front cover uh, front page and then you close this up again there's a window sort of thing this is in the oval shape and here i've done some collage as usual as i said and this is a lace snippet that i have added and this is also is totally removable if you want you can take it out but personally i feel that these kind of things add a lot of oomph to your journals or you know interest so this is again a tuck spot or pocket i have done some collage um some office ephemera pages 
this has more um, stenciling than the other one but uh, the other one has more or less the same you know it uh, as I said, this, these are not exactly the same even though I'm working with the same kind of kits. So I have to keep them a little bit distinguishable from each other. Uh, they are siblings, not identical twins, you can say. Uh, so this is again one of those floral fussy cuts I had in my stash from Stephanie's shop. And here I have used some beeswax, but I don't know if it's showing through. But I've not used on the entire page because um, you'll see on this page it looks better so you can see and this becomes a little bit of translucent sort of thing so you can basically see the inside of the page so I hope you can see the journal card that's inside because um, this is the journal card that goes in and yeah so this is another flip pocket page that I do usually with a hinge so I've covered the hinge because uh, with some washi tape and this is again some journal card um, these journal cards are all done with you know creating a master board sort of thing and then chopping them off and collaging on them separately so they are two step collage cards so this is again some grungy uh, uh, lined paper. Here you have another pocket and I have added another charm with a tree. So this is like a lace snippet charm you can say. And I've used a lot of stuff. Okay, that goes in there. some blank pages and then some double pockets some stenciling some vellum window flips you can say this is actually a vellum window and what I've done is uh, I hope you can see this says uh, cypress tree so and I've used this image on the journal card inside and you'll see um, so this is the journal card this is the cypress tree and when you flip this there is this word the great daisy I hope you can see it and when you turn this journal card you get great daisy so when you tuck this inside what happens is you will see the cypress tree on this window and the great daisy on the other window so that remains same uh, except that they are not on the front cover they are on the inside journal card that's that again some floral journal cards this is actually a vintage uh, zoological uh, zoology textbook so I have used um, some collage paper and then I have you know added the pockets again I've done some beeswax kind of thing on this page and personally I like this flattered look I don't like, want to put it on so some wax, beeswax that I've done um, I use a very simple method I just put the pellets on and then I put the baking sheet and I iron over it so that my iron doesn't get um, gooey uh, and uh, you know mess up and <laughs> doesn't get messed up so this is another journal card that I've done and that goes in here as you can see it's more on the florally um, sides and that was not the conscious uh, you know effort but suddenly I found that this is more on the floral side florally elements are more over here than the other one so that worked out like that so this is again another collage that I've done this was the zoological <laughs> Uh, book page and I wanted to uh, cover up some of the images that it had and also use the opportunity to do some collage so I've done that these are all those herbal fussy cut images this is another pocket 
this and flip page so you can attach make this into a tuck spot also some journal cards okay so this is again one of the side pockets I hope you can see it so this is also one of the side pockets that I've done some book page some line page again this is a belly band with a little bit of lace snippet and I have attached some beads to it you know coordinating beads and a tab so these tabs are not the ones that we see with the tab punch I have a label punch like this so I use that label punch to make these tabs and I find these pretty nice um, so another side pocket so we get to see another journal card this is towards the end so this is the other side of the this is a book page image that I have used and this is the other side again there is a side tuck and I've added a big journaling card uh, this was an, in a journaling card that has been turned into a pocket and here you get some ephemera just as I said this is more on the floral notes so this is how my design team project for Stephanie junk with Steph looks like so I hope you like this uh, journal flip and I hope to see you soon with more journal making processes so so there they are spirit and serenity so bye everybody have a great day